More often than not, the award-winning visual effects are the ones which eventually become the film's most unique selling point. You got me! Who's got you? And in the last few decades, Hollywood has been the torchbearer of the VFX world, which has largely succeeded on the big screen in making the impossible world seem possible. Hello everyone and today we'll look at some of the best movie scenes and how they really look like before and after VFX. So, let's get started. At number 7, Shazam. Shazam is truly one hell of a superhero film. It's a film where a boy becomes an adult superhero in times of need by just saying a single magic word, Shazam. And almost 500 VFX shots were filmed to make the superhero look real on the big screen. The best scene of the movie was when Shazam and Dr. Sivana, the antagonist, battled it out in a grand aerial shot. When you watch them flying in air, they're actually in a controlled environment surrounded with blue screen. And it was not just the blue environment involved. To control their movements in the air, several people in blue bodysuits kept the hero and villain afloat by holding the two up in mid-air. The characters were flown in air using a weird contraption resembling a two-pronged tuning fork rig. Also, wires were attached to their backs to make them lift in the air. Not just this fight scene, many other effects were created using the fork technique. The several scary monsters you see in the movie were just few people dressed in weird suits on set, with CGI later added in. The famous bus sequence was actually shot with not one, but almost five to six buses, with some of them half-sized for certain scenes. So Shazam had a great balance of fantastic storytelling and special effects to eventually create a great visual spectacle. At number 6, I Am Legend it is a post-apocalyptic film where Will Smith played the role of a virologist and was the last man standing and escaped a pandemic that turned the whole humanity into nightly, blood-sucking creatures. The film involved more than 800 visual effects shots. The challenge for the VFX team was to create the decaying New York City. They achieved this by first removing any signs of human activity in the live-action plates, including any moving elements such as vehicles, pedestrians, and also electrical devices such as traffic lights, billboards, etc. Then they added aging and weathering to the cityscapes, so the whole sequence where Smith was seen walking around in the city was shot on stage. Only few abandoned cars and the grass covering where he walked on were real. Everything else was surrounded by blue screen and had to be created digitally. There was a scene where the virus-infected dog attacks Smith. Now, the team first pondered on creating the infected dog with prosthetics makeup and a green suit man. Instead, the realistic-looking dog was a lot more than just a man holding the puppet and was completely computer-generated. This made the infected creatures in the film to look completely believable. At number 5, Jumanji The Next Level There's always a feel-good factor whenever we watch the Jumanji series of films. The visual effects in it ranged from a herd of ostriches attacking the characters to giant anacondas, hippos, horses, and the not-so-happy mandrills. To create this visual masterpiece, almost 5,000 VFX artists were hired by the various VFX companies. The ostrich attack was a famous scene in the film. Obviously, the birds weren't real and created using CGI. But to make the digital version of the bird that's twice the size of a human and looking different than their real-world equivalent was quite challenging. The feathers of each bird had their own dynamics and the artists could control it. The environment was windy, so they wanted the wind to be blowing right through the feathers and for them to feel alive. So the team generated all their footprints, feathers, and their interaction with sand and dust. In all, the movie involved more than 1,900 VFX shots to make the film look realistic on screen. At number 4, Guardians of the Galaxy Oh, yeah. For a sci-fi film that has many interesting characters all traveling in outer space, a lot of digital stuff had to be created. So the film featured almost 2,800 visual effects shots, which made up approximately 90% of the film. Rocket the Raccoon and Groot the Tree were two famous characters that the team focused on quite a lot. 
For instance, when creating Groot, MPC realized early on that his eyes would be essential in maintaining the character's human qualities, as his face couldn't move in a way that humans do. So the final approach made use of a mime on set who would wear a blue bodysuit. He would also wear a Groot helmet featuring a printed mask that matched the character's eventual eyeline. For Rocket, the on-set approach of using a small-statured actor was employed. Eventually, Sean Gunn, the director's brother, took on that job. He would walk the scene with a picture of Rocket on his bodysuit to help with eyelines. For instance, in this scene, Dave Bautista wore layers of intricate makeup to play Drax, while Sean wore a green suit to be Rocket, who was then digitally rendered. Post-production, it was Bradley Cooper who gave Rocket his famous voice. Like how much this is gonna hurt. At number 3, The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smog. The Hobbit film series is quite famous for its dragon sequences. Benedict Cumberbatch played the role of the fiery dragon Smog in the series. To resemble the movements of that giant creature on screen, he also acted for the role in a motion capture suit. So be it the voiceover or the stage acting, the actor really gets into the skin of his dragon character. In addition to his suit, he also wore a helmet that had a small camera attached to it to capture his facial movements using the tracking dots placed on his face. Here's how the dragon scenes eventually panned out after applying the visual effects. You can see him rolling and moving around on the carpet to perfect the movements of the scary dragon. So the team built the dragon layer by layer from the shape of his skeleton to the way he moves around to the texture of his skin. At number 2, Captain America Civil War There is one famous scene where the captain prevents a helicopter from flying away with just his bare hands. When we look at it the first time around, dragging that helicopter almost down to the surface seems impossible. To accomplish this scene, a helipad was built at the studio with a large prop helicopter already placed on a hydraulic arm. The set was surrounded by green screen so that it could later be replaced with the digital version. So the helicopter is CGI while Chris Evans acts against the green screen on a motion controlled rig. He grabs a controlled helicopter landing rod attached to the rig and the rest is added digitally. So finally, the number one movie in our list is John Carter. This 2012 film received a lot of praise for its visuals. There are many scenes in the film involving VFX. For instance, the various scenes involving the alien creatures. To create the alien in this scene where he approaches John, the actor wore a gray suit and a helmet fitted with a camera to capture facial gestures. Also, the scenes involving the giant buggies on which the characters travel were actually shot on a custom-made stand-in buggy. Similarly, here you can see Andrew Stanton, the director on set, where he is directing the actor sitting on a spaceship surrounded by giant green screens. So guys, hope you enjoyed this video, and do you really like movies involving VFX? And which one of the seven movie scenes is your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. Do like and share this video with your friends on social media. For more such amazing things, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And finally, thanks for watching.